Hey guys, it's TechRain here. In today's video, I'm going to set up a dual PC setup for streaming. That is right. You might be wanting the game on one PC and have another PC just dedicated for streaming so that we have the crispest stream possible when you stream to Twitch, Kick, or YouTube. I'm going to show you guys on how to do that here today. You only need two things. First of all, we got the Elgato 4KX, and we'll also need a little bit of software for the audio, but I want to show you how to set this up as easy as possible. So first thing you need to do with your actual capture card here is take the USB-C cable that came with it to USB-C. Now, there's going to be two USB type C's on it. One of them is, of course, going to go into the capture card right here. You see the actual ports. We have an HDMI in, HDMI out, and that USB-C port. So we're going to take that USB-C port, plug that on in, and we want to take another one and plug it into our stream PC. Now, usually this will be located on the back side of your motherboard, or there might be a USB-C type port on actually your front IO. Depending on where you have it, you want to plug it in there. Now that our capture card is connected to our stream PC, what we need to do is get the input and output HDMI cables connected so that way we can capture our PC properly. So we're going to focus on the HDMI in of the actual capture card here. So we're going to take one of the end of the HDMI cable, which is of course of on both sides. I want to take this one end, plug this onto the HDMI end of my capture card. And now the other end of this HDMI cable, what I want to do is take this other HDMI in and plug it into my actual graphics card. Now that our gaming PC is connected and also our streaming PC is all set to go, the third thing we need to do is take that HDMI out and set it up for our monitor. So what we're gonna do is grab another HDMI cable. We're gonna take one end, plug it into the HDMI out of this actual capture card. We're gonna take this other HDMI end of it and plug it into our monitor of choice. So what I recommend for dual PC setups, always have two monitors. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you can have one monitor for your PC you're gaming on and another monitor for your stream PC so we can monitor both things at once. And that's what I recommend for any streaming setup. With that though, we now have our gaming PC all hooked up. You can see just passing through this monitor, which is awesome. And we have this other monitor here for my actual streaming PC so that way we can pull up OBS on it and actually set up onto our next step. So the next thing we want to do is download some software. So we're going to get two different pieces of software for each actual PC. So right now we're on the stream PC here and we want to download the 4K capture utility for our capture card so that way it works properly. Of course, I will have a link to it down below once you're on this page here. We just want to download the 4K capture utility and install this onto your PC. And now we get to add our new capture card in OBS Studio for our PC. So this is the stream PC, of course. We're going to go in here in our sources in OBS add a device video capture devices click OK and what we want to do is select our device of choice so you can see here is the HD60s that's not what we want we want the 4kx we're going to select on this and it will add it as a source in OBS Studio so you can see now I'm recording my actual gaming PC from my streaming PC which is absolutely fantastic so the next thing we do is audio routing we only need five things for this and it's not as hard as it actually seems to be so we're going to take two ground loop isolators and two 3.5 millimeter aux cables which i will have everything linked down below for you guys to pick on up and if you do use all those links to do support the channel so always appreciated but what we want to do with each of those cables is we want to take our ground loop isolator 3.5 millimeter cable we want to plug them into each other the next thing we want to do is plug in our ground loop isolator onto the lane end of our gaming pc of course the lane end will be blue by the way so just keep that in mind if it does identify that it might even just say lane in on it on the pc itself for the io and then we want to take the opposite end of this cable and plug it into the lane out of our streaming pc now what we want to do now is take the second ground loop isolator and the 3.5 millimeter aux cable we want to plug them in together and we want to take this ground loop isolator part and plug this into the lane out of our gaming pc now keep in mind the lane out will usually be green if it isn't green it might just say like lane out for you and want to plug that in there now you want to take the opposite end of this actual 3.5 and plug this into the lane in of our streaming pc now for the fifth thing we need is going to actually be some software now i will have a link to this page down below for elgato site and what we're going to do while we're here is we're going to go on their page for downloads go to select a product we want to go down to their legacy products and go to the HD60 because we want the actual uh, game capture software and we want to install this on our computer, not for the game capture software itself, but actually the sound capture software that comes with it. Once we've gotten ourselves a sound capture software, you just want to open it up on your PC. When you get access to our thrip, you have a few different settings. You will have something like off, team chat, music, gaming PC, but we want to go into advanced. When we're advanced, we want to do a few different things. We want to add, of course, our device of choice. We want to make sure these both are ticked, the playback and communication. And then we want to make sure our input device, it is whatever our mic is. So I know I'm using a Blue Yeti, but you just set this to whatever device you're using for your mic for OBS Studio or for that PC. So I'm going to enable that. 
And now the question is where you want to hear your playback audio. I would just recommend setting the devices you use. Since I know I have some speakers, I'm going to set this to my high definition for my speakers. But now that we got the software on our streaming PC set up, we need the exact same thing on our gaming PC. Now we're going to do the same thing on actually our gaming PC with the sound capture software. We want to make sure it's from off to an advanced mode. Then in advanced mode, we want to make sure the default device is for playback is checked and communication. And of course can check too on your actual PC if it's working fine by right clicking on the speaker icon on your dashboard, sound settings. And then on the right side on Windows 11, you'll say sound control panel. Uh, since I'm on Windows 11, I just scroll down and go to uh, more sound settings. And then in here, you will actually see, we got the sound control panel. And if we scroll down until the Elgato capture, you can see it's here. And we right click on this. You see, we don't need to enable or set it to default, which is good. It should just look, look exactly like this. And nothing else down here should be checked besides that. And then same thing recording, make sure this is the only thing checked. If it looks like this, it's perfect. And you don't need to mess with anything else in here. So that's just kind of the verify on your streaming PC and gaming PC that all your routing is going through the sound capture software. You don't want it going anywhere else. But the next thing you want to do is make sure what's your input device. Just leave that as none because we are using the playback from our microphone to actually get an input device, which I'll show you how to do in a second here. And the only thing you want to do now is where do you want to hear your audio? You want to make sure the audio is going to your speakers for high definition audio because that's going to be your output source for your lane out on your PC that's going to lane in of your streaming PC. So you want to make sure you have this not checked, but unchecked. Okay. And then you of course can set up like your wireless headset too, which I have my Bose here. I'm making sure that I can hear that. And then I have some other stuff too, just in case I want to route some other stuff. Now we get into the few last steps of setting up our dual PC setup, the final bits of audio. First of all, we want to make sure to add our audio in OBS for our gaming PC. So we're going to go into our settings, but in settings, we're going to go to audio. And we're gonna make our mic and our auxiliary to our lane in because remember lane out from our gaming PC is sending all the audio to lane in of our game, streaming PC to catch up on it. So it's gonna have our gameplay, our miss music, Discord or anything you do on your gaming PC, you can have it there. And we're gonna have this as so. So you wanna make sure to set that as your lane in. So the next thing we wanna do is set up our microphone. We're using the record in OBS Studio for our streaming PC, but also use it as an input device for our gaming PC for Discord or just gaming in general and using it as game chat. And to set this on up, it's really easy. All we want to do is go to the bottom right of our taskbar on Windows. We want to right click on the sound setting and then we want to go to open sound settings and then we want to go to the sound control panel on the right side. Then in here, what we want to do is go from actual playback. We want to go to recording and in recording, we want to go down until we see our micro choice. So I know I'm using the Yeti as my microphone. So I want to right click on this, go to properties, then in properties, we go to listen and listen, we wanna to go to actually play back through this device. So we're gonna make sure this is click our speakers, high definition audio. It might say laying out for you, depending on the situation. For me, it just says speakers for high definition audio. We wanna check that. And when it might not be checked already, but of course you'll say, listen to this device, make sure to check this. And once you have that, click apply, click okay, we're good to go. If we go under Discord for our gaming PC now, you can actually see if we look on our check mic, you should see it just works. With that though, our gaming PC is all the good go with our streaming PC over here, and we can now officially stream to every platform with our new dual PC setup. And if you guys did find this video helpful here today, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed so you miss some future tech content. Of course, I will have everything I use in this video linked down below. If you do use those links, they do support the channel. So always appreciate it. No additional cost to you guys. I'll see you for one. Tech Grant out.